Good day, friends. A user requested a Tinkercad toolbox, so my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so first things first, let's rename it. I'm gonna name it tool box with my initials. And then my idea is that this is gonna be a challenge where I help you create the toolbox, you create the tools that go in it. So let's hit grid and let's make this pretty much life size by taking the width and making it 600 millimeters and taking the length and making it 400. This large rectangle will give us a space where we could actually create pretty much life-size tools. Friends, let's make our toolbox with a box. When you bring it out, I just want you to click the corner and we're gonna do 550, press enter, by 250. And if you just click the white corners, those are easy to see. And then when you put it back in the middle, you can see that kind of looks like the right shape for a toolbox and we're gonna change the height to 50. And now we need to cut out the area where everything sits. Well, we're gonna do that by using duplicate and then pull one of them up, make it a hole. Alrighty friends, so what we're gonna do is sink this piece in. The first thing I want you to change is I want you to make its height 45. So it's only gonna go down 45 of the 50 steps. We're gonna make its width 10 less, five on each side. So type 540 and 240 for the other measurement. So we took away 10 from the two sides and five from the height. When you click a line, we're gonna look at it from a corner and we're gonna choose center and center. I'm gonna drop this all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna set my snap grid to five millimeters and I'm gonna do control up so that it pokes out. If you can't see that, remember you can hide the red one and then do your control up so you've got that little gap underneath it. Bring back the two, select, group, and boom, you've got your toolbox base. Now that we've got the bottom of our toolbox, let's add the handles. Real quickly, bring out your work plane, bring out a roof. We need to rotate that roof 90 degrees. I'm gonna just click the box and type 90 and press enter. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better. You can see how nice that looks. Instead of 20, I want this to be 15. And then remember we had 240 for this length. So I'm gonna just change that to 240. And then I'm gonna tell you that a good height for this whole thing is 150. I'm gonna select everything after I shut off my work plane. And I'm going to do a line, click on the red one, and I'm gonna tell it I want it centered and I want it to the left edge. I don't want it to stick out, so I'm gonna keep my five millimeter grid and I'm gonna nudge it one so it turns out just like that. I want one on both sides, so I'm gonna do duplicate and then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it across. Because of the five millimeter nudge, it's real easy to get it to that exact number in just a little bit of time. Alrighty friends, it's time to add a handle. Let's put the work plane on one of our triangles and simply bring out a cylinder. When you bring that cylinder out, we need to stretch it all the way across. I'm just gonna drag it till it touches. If it sticks inside, that is fine. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground and then I'm gonna grab those two pieces and I'm gonna align it. I wanna make sure that it's aligned to the green one I'm gonna look at it from this corner because it's so much more clear. I want it centered, and I'm also gonna see what it looks like if I bring it all the way to the top. If we zoom in on this with our fit view, you can see that is a little too high. So I'm just gonna click the orange one and I'm gonna do control down arrow to lower it till it's at the spot that I like. That's pretty groovy. I'm gonna grab it all and friends, you have just created a workable little toolbox. So a huge shout out to the user that suggested it. It is so cool when you guys give me ideas of what to create. Now, if anybody out there adds some actual tools to this, it would be so cool if you use the suite send to command and you actually went down, invited, generated a link and sent me a link so I could see the cool stuff that you created. You can always send those to me at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HL Mod Tech. You can also send them to me in Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech there. Or you can check the HL Mod Tech website and use that messaging button as well. 
Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.